Hey, what's up everyone? This video is a mods guide. I intend for this video to be useful for everyone. If you're a very experienced mod user, you know exactly what Forge is, you've used it a bunch, you have a bunch of Skyblock mods all set up, and you're just curious to see what mods I have, this video is perfect for you. If you have never once used a Minecraft mod, you have no idea what Forge is, you don't even have the game yet, well maybe not quite there. This video is also perfect for you, and it will dive very in depth for you, it'll help you out a ton. And if you're experienced with mods, you just keep watching, until I start the download process, at which point you're probably all set. This video is going to be pretty long. However, I will still try to keep it as concise as possible, give you as much information as I can. And of course, if you have any other problems, I'm happy to help in the comments, but I'm not a developer, so please don't come to me with, oh my god, my, my Minecraft won't work. It has this error code specifically. As you would expect from a video like this, every single link that I use will be in the description. Now, a quick disclaimer, every single mod that you use on the Hypixel server is a use at your own risk. However, I've been using these mods for two years, I haven't gotten banned, it's probably fine. Also, when downloading the mods, be very, very careful about what you download and open, please. Okay, without further ado, the first mod that I use is Forge. Forge isn't really a mod, it's a mod loader that pretty much every single mod in Minecraft uses. So to use any one of these mods, you are going to have to download Forge. The rest of the mods though, you are welcome to pick and choose which ones you want, and I think it should all work if you just choose like one totally random mod or all of them. The next mod that I use is of course Optifine. Optifine is the mod. It increases FPS through crazy stuff like sine and cosine, I don't even know how you would use Use that in Java. The most noticeable stuff I use it for is Fulbright, zooming in, it has farther render distances. Of course, if you have Optifine, you can use shaders, and there's just so much more stuff that you can do in Optifine that you can't do in vanilla Minecraft. 10 out of 10 would recommend, honestly, even if you don't play Hypixel, you should still have this mod. While we're on the topic of Optifine, I'm gonna go ahead and review my shader pack. I use Silder's Vibrant Shaders, specifically the light one, because the other ones are just a little much if it'll load. There we go. Look how beautiful that is. Honestly, this one is a bit of a PC killer. My computer is probably like a 7, maybe low 8 out of 10. And sometimes if the settings are right or wrong, I guess you could say, it really struggles. Honestly, I only ever use shader packs if I really want like a dramatic shot with the replay mod or just like a nice aesthetic when I'm doing an outro or something. But they are pretty fun to play around with. 10 out of 10 would recommend. The next mod that I kind of use is called Patcher. Patcher is mostly about cosmetics, kind of like how Bad Lion Client has their cloaks and stuff and honestly I'm not really into that stuff but they allow you to turn it off so that's good. The stuff that I actually use Patcher for is stuff that you can't see. For example it switches the crop hitboxes to the 1.12 variant which I think makes them bigger, disables a bunch of random errors and stuff that you probably don't want and of course Fulbright which honestly I don't know if this does it or Optifine it doesn't really matter. I also use my mouse to switch between slots so I have two thumb buttons I'm pressing the top one to switch to first slot bottom one to switch to my skyblock star and this mod just kind of make sure that that stuff works even when you're pressing like control or shift or you're walking around and my favorite feature of patcher that you have probably never heard of or even noticed in any of my videos is called windowed full screen you know how you play minecraft on full screen so that you don't see that X button or like the top bar or anything. When you have it on windowed full screen, I can move my cursor off screen and just interact with my other screen, no problem. You can't see me doing this, but I have two monitors. I'm moving my mouse, it's amazing. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Actually, I'm gonna have to give Patcher a seven out of 10 because there's a lot of cosmetics and stuff that you really don't want. Moving on, not enough updates. This mod is unbelievable. Better GUIs, provides a bunch of information like this page in the accessory bag. I'm a huge fan of this Ender Chest page. It looks overwhelming, but it basically just lets you access all of your Ender Chests and backpack slots on one page. It shows dungeon profit. It has fairy soul waypoints. It tells you where every single fairy soul waypoint is. I'm sorry, time Dio better search functionality, and of course, the thing that every single person in existence has been asking about, the experimentation table. It shows you where to click next on stuff like the ultra sequencer. It shows you what you've clicked in the super pairs. Some people would say that this is illegal, I would say that you could do this with your phone and just record it, but regardless of what you think about the experimentation table solver, you gotta admit, it's really cool. Not Enough Updates gets a 12 out of 10, literally the best Skyblock mod ever. If you're gonna download one mod, this is it. And the only reason it didn't get a 13 out of 10 is because there's probably too many updates in it. 
Of course, I also use Skyblock add-ons. This one is just OG. It's got a bunch of random stuff. I'm a huge fan of the health bar and the mana bar. It disables a bunch of annoying messages. And honestly, it's just like the first Skyblock mod. You gotta get it. Nine out of 10. Most of the stuff is actually kind of irrelevant nowadays, like the Magma Boss timer. Who uses that? Next up, Dungeons Guide. Honestly, I've got no idea. It's really cool. I mean, I haven't even done a floor seven. And yet I probably could with this. It's literally got everything. It even helps you find dungeon parties. I can't really vouch too much for this mod considering I've done like a dozen dungeons in my life, but I can't wait to try it out on the Skyblock from Scratch profile. Seven out of 10. Skyblock Extras. Skyblock Extras costs $5. I used to use it for the experimentation table, but I actually liked any used version better, but I still do use it for some stuff like sorting sack prices in the bazaar, highlight insta sell items. I use it for just enough stuff that I wouldn't uninstall it, but honestly, if you're starting a new installation of Skyblock, I wouldn't recommend it. $5 is hardly any money, so that's probably not the problems, but honestly, I just don't know that it's worth $5 for stuff that you can get on other mods. I don't know. I'm kind of mixed emotions on this mod. It's great. I really, really like it, but I'm going to have to give it a 5 out of 10. Next up is the replay mod. Have you ever seen a Bed Wars montage? How do you think they're getting these crazy camera angles? The replay mod. Okay, honestly, I don't know what the heck I'm doing with this mod. It's really, really cool, and there's so much stuff that you can do with it, but I've only ever used it for some pretty easy stuff, and I mean, this is this is too much. I'm not about to do a replay mod tutorial. There's like a million YouTube videos on it, but overall, incredible mod. There's so much stuff that you can do with it. 9 out of 10, solely because it's pretty difficult to learn. Next up, we of course have none other than World Edit. World Edit is incredible. Oh no, I didn't want to do that. Dash dash undo. Look at that. Okay, but World Edit only works in single player worlds. I only use it for building sometimes when I do build, but when I do use it like twice a year, it's literally the best thing ever. The best way I can describe World Edit is it's like all the vanilla Minecraft functionality, like slash fill, slash copy, just on Russian steroids, and it's like a thousand times better. This next mod is called Schematica. It's really, really cool. It allows you to build like ghost versions of an entirely different Minecraft build, and then you can just put it wherever you want. Schematica is just really cool. It allows you to like steal other people's builds and nobody would know, but you shouldn't do that. You could even build like your entire Skyblock Island in a different world and then transfer it over using Schematica, which is what I might do. I don't know. We'll see. It's not totally Skyblock specific, but hey, I said I would list every single mod that I use. And the very last mod that I use is called Lunatrius Core. I don't know. Basically, it's made by the same guy who makes Schematica. I don't know. Basically, it's made by the same guy who makes Schematica. It's like a mod frame or something and you have to have it to use schematica but if you're not going to use schematica then you don't have to download this one again i said i would list every single mod that i have in my mods folder okay so now we're going to start to get into the installation section of the video if you already know how to download mods have fun all the links are in the descriptions be careful of course you can pick and choose which mods you want let's say you really really liked any u but you don't really know what skyblock add-ons does you can totally just choose any u the only thing that's required from this video is forge and everything on top of that you literally just drag into the mods folder and now for the people who have never once downloaded a Minecraft mod or just want to make sure that they're doing it right and they're not going to get a bunch of viruses or break their Minecraft, I'm going to create an entirely new copy of Windows and we're going to download Minecraft 1.8.9 with Forge, all these Skyblock mods, and I'll show you how to set them up. Okay, here we go. Oh god, we're not even halfway done yet. I'm not going to lie, this is a huge pain, but you only have to do it once. Welcome to the installation segment for all of the mods. I went ahead and downloaded Windows onto an old hard drive, meaning that this is a completely fresh windows set up and to prove it i'm going to go ahead into the downloads folder you know you got firefox and obviously i need to record something the first step is to download minecraft so you're going to go to this link because you want to download the old minecraft launcher not whatever god awful new minecraft launcher they're using it's terrible don't even try now that you are on the old minecraft launcher you do not want to use the new minecraft launcher please do not use the new minecraft launcher you're going to head over to the installations tab add a new installation and you are going to scroll all the way down until you see release 1.8.9 which should be right there 1.8.9 you're going to title it whatever you want and then in the corner here you're going to switch it over to 1.8.9 and you're playing it what you're doing right now is downloading 1.8.9 so when you set up forge it actually has something to build off of now you're going to paste that forge link that i put in my description and you're going to download the recommended forge model and then if you're trying to record a video you're going to go 
turn off a bunch of the Minecraft settings because the volume is so loud. You're going to download the recommended installer for Forge 1.8.9. Completely ignore this advertisement. Don't click on anything except up in the top right corner here. This is how kids get viruses. Now you're going to go ahead and I have to download Java. That's that's a thing. Now that you can actually run Forge, you're gonna double click on your downloaded jar file, and this is gonna pull up a little mod system installer window here. You want to install the client, and honestly, that's all you have to do. Just make sure that's selected, it'll download, and then you're good. Now you can go ahead and close out of Minecraft and open the launcher back up. And then now in the launcher, you will see that there is a new installation called Forge. Now you're gonna make sure that Forge is selected. I don't know why it keeps saying play offline. I'm obviously connected to the internet. And you're gonna click play. If everything is right, you should see a mods button right here. You're gonna completely ignore that. That's just a way to tell that you did it right. Go ahead and X out of Minecraft. And now we're gonna have to find the .minecraft folder, which is a pain. What I like to do is I click on this this PC, I go to my local disk, which is the C drive, and then I just search dot Minecraft, and then I just let it run for a long time. I go like get a snack or something. Once you see a folder called dot Minecraft in your user dash app data dash roaming, you're going to double click on that. And then in here, you should see a folder called mods. What I like to do so that I never have to look up dot Minecraft again is I right click on the mods folder, create a shortcut. And right there, you can see it created a shortcut. I'm just going to drag that to my desktop. Now, if I close out of the file and I open it back up, you can see that we are in the mods folder in the .minecraft folder. Okay, now we're downloading mods. I'm going to teach you how to properly download mods so you don't have to go ask your older brother, your older sister, or whatever, how to get a virus off of your computer. Go to the Optifine link, and when you're in the Optifine link, it should bring you directly here. You're going to download that. Do not click those start buttons. Do not do it. It's not worth it. I've tried it before. Don't play the 18 years old Game of Thrones game. Just click the X button, just do it. It's it's not worth it. If you wanna see 18 plus content, there are many other sites to do it. If you want shaders, you're gonna to go to the sildershaders.github.io. You're gonna download these light shaders right here. It's gonna take you to some totally random thing. I Do I click on that, I guess? No, no, don't run that. Don't run that. Okay, I tried clicking on it again and it brought me to the add thing and now we are in the CurseForge folder. This one you can actually download. Next up is Patcher. We're gonna paste the link, then we're gonna go down to downloads. We're gonna download Patcher for Minecraft 1.8.9. There's no ads to click out of this time. Then we're gonna go to GitHub for the not enough updates mod. And we can just click this link right here. It'll download it for us very easy. Skyblock add-ons, paste this link. We're gonna go download here, click that and it'll start downloading in 10 seconds. Listen, I'm a computer science major and I've almost downloaded like five viruses. It's okay, just don't run the exe files. Now for Dungeons Guide, we're gonna paste another GitHub link and then you're gonna go down to this readme section right here. We're gonna click on the downloads page and then you're gonna download the jar file unless you really wanna look at the source code for some reason. This is the website for Skyblock Extras. I'm honestly not gonna recommend it. It's $5, it's totally not necessary. I just use it for a couple of small things. Replay mod, you're gonna paste this link and then it It'll bring you to the replay mod and you're going to scroll all the way down to the 1.8.9. You're going to click the big download button and that's it. For world edit, you're going to paste the link. You're going to go to the curse forge, hit the download button, and then you're going to wait five seconds. Schematica, you're once again going to go to curse forge, this link right here. You're going to click the download button. And then if you actually want to use Schematica, you're going to have to go to the Lunatrius Core. I think that's how you pronounce it. You're going to go to a Curse Forge again. It's made by the same guy as Schematica. You're going to click the download button and that's it. We just downloaded a bunch of stuff. All right. Of course, you can pick and choose all of these mods. For example, if you're literally just playing Skyblock, you don't need World Edit. However, every single jar file except for Forge and the Java file, if you had to download Java, you're going to move to your desktop, including Optifine right there. And then for simplicity, I'm gonna move the zipped file to my desktop as well. Now this part is very complicated, all right? See if you can queue up with me. Now you're gonna boot up Minecraft. You're gonna press play, take a sip of your tea. This is gonna take a while to boot up, but once it does, you're gonna see a lot of really, really weird stuff. Most of this is Skyblock Essentials. So you're gonna click on this setting right here if you don't want any of these features, which I never use. You are going to disable literally everything just disable like everything i don't i don't even care what it is just disable it there's like three things that i use in this mod 
that are life-saving. Okay, here's one of them. This one is called windowed full screen. I use two monitors and right now I'm trying to drag my mouse over to my second monitor where I have like OBS, my script, all of that stuff. I'm gonna click on this and before you know it, I can now drag my mouse over. Look at this, look at this, it disappears. This is life-changing, this is amazing. No auto refresh session, none of that stuff. That's all awful and Actually, I think that's about the only thing I use. You can also turn off the essentials menu layout. And when you go back, everything is gone. Look at that. Also going to change the GUI scale to not take up the entire screen. That would be nice. Now you're going to log on to Hypixel. And there's going to be a lot of really cool stuff for you to do after you collect your daily reward. Now that you have Optify, there's so much you can do. You can kill your computer with an insane amount of chunks loading. I can load my entire Skyblock Island. I can do a ton of stuff like turn up my brightness to, I think this is full bright actually, but perhaps one of the biggest draws of Optifine is this tab right here called performance. Here's all the performance settings that I use. Feel free to copy that. And of course, Optifine has all sorts of other stuff. Perhaps because I'm a Minecraft YouTuber, one of my favorite things to use is the button when I press C it zooms in and then I can scroll further in with my mouse wheel but you didn't download Optifine for a tiny frame boost no 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 you want shaders if you remember we downloaded a zip shaders folder we're going to go ahead and extract and we're just going to click extract it's going to put it in a folder and now we can go ahead and x out of that and we're going to go back into Minecraft when OBS decides to load there it is we're going to go options video settings shaders and fast render needs to be turned off. Okay, maybe don't copy my settings exactly. Okay, now we're in the shaders thing here. We're gonna have to go back to the .minecraft folder. In our desktop, we're gonna use the mods shortcut to go back to the .minecraft folder. And in here, we're gonna have our shader packs. Open up the desktop file explorer once again, and you're just gonna copy that right into the shaders pack folder. You can see it appears right there. You're gonna click on that, Give it a second, give it a second, and now you have shaders. Look at that magic. Of course, you can change all of this stuff. There's all sorts of good stuff you can change if your computer doesn't have a crazy graphics card or your computer has a crazy graphics card and this looks terrible to you. But I'm gonna let you play around with that one on your own and I'm gonna turn off shaders because they're really hard to play with. Almost done, just kidding. We've got a lot more to go through. Okay, not enough updates. Honestly, this one is just completely up to you. You can access the menu with dash N E U. This will open up a huge menu for you to customize stuff with. I mean, honestly, I'm still learning what most of this means. So good luck. Wait, no, no, no. Actually, there's one thing I want to show you with not enough updates because this is the only thing people asked in my last video. It's kind of crazy. You're going to look up experiments in the search function right here, enchanting GUI dash solvers. You're just going to turn that on. You can prevent misclicks and honestly, you're good. Now you have your enchanting solver and it's really good actually. It's very, very helpful. Okay, Skyblock add-ons is accessed with slash SBA. Again, it opens up another crazy menu. There's a ton of stuff to explore in here. I don't really know what most of it does. However, for example, let's say I don't like this dark auction timer right here. I can just turn it off. And who still fights the magma boss? We don't need that. I'm also a huge fan of hiding the vanilla health bar and also activating the health bar. That way you have that red bar in the bottom there. And yeah, that is Skyblock add-ons. It's a very cool mod. Now for Dungeons Guide, we're gonna press dash DG. I have no idea what I'm looking at here. Eventually I'm gonna do Dungeons and learn it, but for now, good luck. That's how to download it. Skyblock extras, if you downloaded it, which I didn't, you use slash SBE and it opens up another menu with a bunch of more features. Replay mod, you thought I was gonna do a tutorial, didn't you? You thought I was gonna do a replay mod tutorial. Why am I wearing lapis armor? Hold on, that doesn't even make sense. Yeah, a uh, replay mod. Good luck. There's like a thousand YouTube tutorials. You'll be fine. I broke Minecraft. I was trying to go into a private world so that I could show you what the uh, what the world edit did, but obviously it didn't like that. Okay, I'm done. I'm gonna plug back in my actual hard drive now so I can go back to my actual setup. That was a lot of stuff. If you made it this far in the video, Congratulations, I hope you have a good functioning Hypixel Skyblock mod pack now. If you followed everything I did, you shouldn't have too many problems, but I can guarantee people are gonna run into some. So if you have some, just ask them in the comments, but remember, I'm not a developer. Another thing to keep in mind is to really get these mods working how you want them to. You're gonna have to play around with them a ton. No two Skyblock players have the exact same mod loadout. Some use entirely different mods. Most people have different settings and preferences. I mean, those GUIs are crazy. There's so many buttons that you can press 
It's insane. That's what's so cool about these mods, though. You can literally turn Skyblock into whatever game you want. It's like unrecognizable after you download mods. Well, I sincerely hope that this video has been of use to you. If it has, please consider dropping a like, subscribing to me. That's awesome. Thank you so much. I'm going to be honest. I recorded this entire video in one sitting in four and a half hours. I'm really freaking tired. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.